welcome to class or welcome back if you are joining me again here on Verbling.com. Right now we are talking about the past tense and we are focusing on pronunciation, especially uh, with the verbs that end in ed in the past tense. Uh, so we just had a little pronunciation class on uh, the last hour and in this hour we are going to read through a passage about Cesar Chavez. He is a very important person in history and uh, if you don't know anything about him then this will be a great class to not only improve your pronunciation and increase your vocabulary but also learn a little bit of history which is good. So this is a good class for intermediate students or even advanced students who wish to really perfect their pronunciation skills. Um, most of you know the deal. We are going. You are going to read out loud, and I will correct your pronunciation and go over any new words as we go along. Uh, so, welcome, welcome. Hi, Ezekiel. Welcome back to class. How are you? Hi, Candy. How are you? Hi. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. Yes, it's a pleasure. Wonderful. Thank you for being here. Um, okay. Thank you. And we have Raul. Thank you for joining us again. Welcome back. Hi, Kenny. Hi. Hi. And Oleg. Is it Oleg, right? Oleg, hello? Can you hear? Go like this if you can hear us, if you can hear me. OK. So, do you have headphones? I don't see headphones in your ears. Do you have headphones? Uh, no, no. Uh, do you hear me now? Yes. Hi. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Hi. Okay. Do you have headphones, Oleg? Yeah, I do, but, but uh, now I, uh, I'm using my speakers. Okay. Can you please put your headphones in because your speakers will play the video and then there's an echo and it's all crazy. Thank you. Um, oh. Echo. Echo. Yeah. Okay. Or echo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, Oleg, I don't think we have met before. Where are you from? Yeah, put it, put it on. Thank you so much. Um, where are you from, Oleg? Uh, I'm from Russia, exactly from Magadan town. It's uh, in the Far East. Okay. All right. Well, what, what time is it there right now? Uh, it's uh, 2 p.m. Okay. Okay. Well, welcome to class. Thank you for being here. How long have you been on Verbling? Uh, I am a newcomer. Uh, I had a couple of classes with Martin. Uh, I like his classes, and now I'm looking forward to being with you. Awesome. Well, thank you. Yes, Martin and I speak a little bit differently. We have different accents, so it's good. You are getting He's British. <laughs> yes, that's the main reason why <laughs> yes <laughs> exactly well it's nice to meet you thank you so much for being here oh thank look you. we nice have like to meet you too. whole class good um here we go Tharcicio hello can you hello? hear me okay? yes can it be is this the Tharcicio from like months ago yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness where have you been? I just been? missed you guys so much because <laughs> you guys are amazing and I decided that I, I, I must come here today you and must. class it. That, we're so happy. How have you been? I've been good. How are you? Good, good, good. Thank you for being here. It's really nice to see you again. Um, we, this will be a good class. This will be a fun class. Yuki, thanks for coming back. Welcome back to class. Hello again. Hi, hi, hello. And then we have Aichu, who is joining us again. Thank you. Welcome. Hi. Um, and, uh, mm, is, okay. Is it Abdullah? Is it Samad? How, 
How should Abd I? What is your name? Hmm? Abd Samad. Abd Samad. Abd. Yeah, Abd Samad. Abd Samad. Okay. How do you prefer um, me to call you? You can call me Samad. It's okay. Sam <laughs> Samad. Okay. Whatever you like. Samad. Nice yeah. to meet you. Have you been in my class before? Yes. 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 I've been in some classes. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Good. Good. In, I think in June, July. Okay, that was a while ago. Yeah, must yeah. have been. Must have. Well, I don't know. I don't even know if I was around for those months. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Well, welcome, welcome to class. It's nice to have you here. It's nice to have everyone here. We have a nice group here. Raphael, Raúl. I don't. I thank you for coming back. I know I got one of you guys. All right. So. Um, most of you know the deal. We uh, in in this box where you see my picture or my video, uh, I will show you a document. I can post the link actually too. I will post the link. Can everyone see the Verbling chat on on the on the right, right hand right. of your screen? I know my my no. camera is opposite right now. <laughs> yeah, it's on the right. Can, no uh, verbling chat. can everyone see it? Yeah. Okay, yes. I'm, I'm posting the link so you can have it, but I will also share. We are going to take turns reading. Everyone will get a chance. And as we go through, I will correct your pronunciation and go over any new words. So please, if there is a word that you don't understand, please say something. Don't be shy. Okay, we're really nice. Hmm. Would you please post the link on Google Chat? I have yes. some problems with verbal chat. Yes, I can do that. No problem. Okay, do you see it? Yes. Awesome. Okay, so Cesar Chavez. Has anyone has anyone heard of him? No. no. Not one person. No. Awesome. Okay, good. We're all learning something new today. Besides boring grammar and stuff, pronunciation. Cool. Okay. Well, who would like to be the first? Let's, Samad, would you like to start reading for us? Okay. Sure. Okay. It's going to be Samad and then, oh, and then Rauf. And then it will be Rauf. Rauf, welcome to class. Hi. Hi. How are you today? I'm fine. I, I already in the class. Okay, good. Well, thank you for being here. We are going to start reading. Are you ready to read? You, it will go Samad, and then Rauf, and then Aichu, Ezekiel, Oleg, and so on, down the line. Okay? Is that good? Yep. Cool. Cool, cool. Okay, so we have the link, but here it is also. Okay? This is a, this is a picture of him taken with a camera. No, it's not. It's a painting. Um, but <laughs> that's what he looked like. Okay, so Cesar Chavez, uh, what is his occupation? His job, he was a what? Civil, Civil rights, rights leader. leader. Yeah, what does that mean? Activists. He in protected. Civil rights. rights. Right, he worked so people can have rights. Okay, so he was kind of cool. Where is he from? From Arizona. Uh, I guess from Mexico. Yeah, right? He's from Arizona. Exactly. Um, and then Arizona in the United States? Or yes. Mexico, okay. What is Yuma? You know, a movie train to Yuma. Is it the same? <laughs> uh, I never saw that movie. There is a lot of echo. I don't know. Mm, does everyone have their headphones? Yeah. Everyone should have headphones and also please close verbling.com. We only want the Google Hangout open because verbling.com will have the video and then the video has sound and that creates an echo as well. Okay. All right. So. We think he looks like a pretty cool guy. All right. Um, 
Let's go ahead and start reading. Who was it? Samad, can you please read for us? Okay, from where? Go. Okay. Hold on, I think we have enough for... I want to make sure everyone gets a chance to read. Okay, I think we have enough. Go ahead. So the first uh, question. And yeah. <laughs> okay. Biography. Where did Cesar Chavez grow up? Cesar Chavez grew up on a farm in Yuma, Arizona, with his two brothers and two sisters. His family owned the farm and the local grocery store. Good. Cesar had a happy time growing up with family and relatives around him. His best friend was his brother Richard. His family lived in an adult home built by his grandfather. Good. Thank you. That was really good pronunciation. This word right here is Adobe. Mm, Adobe. Adobe. Do you know what Adobe is? No, I, I, I know it's the name of a, a brand. <laughs> Photoshop. <laughs> yeah. I know. Every time I ask, it's always some technical. What was in yeah. the last class? Grade. Oh, grade. It's Thank you. It's a building <laughs> Yeah, it's a type of um, an Adobe home. It's like a like almost like I don't want to say clay, but yeah, almost like here Adobe. See, look what comes up. It's all yeah. Adobe Home. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Yeah, you have the. Brain. It looks like this. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, clay mixed with the water. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. Right? Adobe homes. They're usually found in deserty areas, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you. All right. Yeah, that's Adobe. Okay. Thank you. Any words in here we don't know? Okay. Good. Thank you. Raouf, please continue. Uh, oh, go uh, ahead. It's uh, too small. Uh, there is oh, sorry. Is that okay? Uh, okay. The Great Depression. When Caesar was around 11 years old, hard times from the Great Depression caused his father to lose that far, uh, the farm. Mm -hmm. The family didn't know what to do. They packed up all they owned and moved to California to find, to find work. Good, good, thank you. Um, how do we pronounce this one? Caused. 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 Right? Like, imagine the E is not there. So it's just the D sound. We only, oops, sorry. We only want to say this letter. Caused. Caused. Good. And this one? Owned. Owned. Good. Same thing. And this one? Moved. Good. Exactly. Exactly. Same thing. Okay. All right. Uh, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Exactly. Uh, any words in here we don't know? No. You guys are good. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Who is next? Me. All right. Me. Go ahead. That's Aichu, right? Yeah. Go ahead, Aichu. Migrant worker. Caesar's family became migrant workers. They moved from farm to farm in California looking for work. All the family members had to work, even Caesar. He worked in all sorts of different files, from grapes to beets. The days were long and the work was very hard. Despite working so hard, the family barely had enough to eat. Good. Thank you. Okay. Um, so we say we say migrant, migrant worker, migrant, mm -hmm. migrant worker. So can you repeat this next sentence, please? Caesar's family became migrant workers. Good, excellent. Thank you. Okay. Um, all right. Any words in here? We don't. Oh, sorry. And then, sorry if you can't see. How do we pronounce this word? Fields. 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 Mm-hmm. Imagine it's like E-E, -E, fields. Fields. Perfect. 
You got it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so, was it an easy life? Not really. Not really. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry, what's the meaning of beats? Beats. Anyone know? Good question. Beats. Beats is a, beats is a crop. crop. Mm. No. Beats. This beet with two E's is a type of vegetable. Mm -hmm. It is purple or mm -hmm. red. It looks, I mean, it, it's, it's like a potato, but it's purple and or like a dark red. Mm -hmm. yeah, I and know it's it. really good for your heart. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. we, we, we got it? Okay. Yeah. Two, three. Okay, good. Okay, uh, anything else on that one? Okay. Next person, please. Okay. Moving so often, Cesar didn't go to school much anymore. In just a few short years, he had attended 35 different schools. The teachers were thrown on him. One time, when he didn't speak English, a teacher made him wear a sign that read, I am a clown. I speak Spanish. After graduating from the eighth grade, Cesar stopped going to school. Wow. Okay. Uh, good. Thank you. Um, can you please? Okay. This word. Um, imagine that it's like this uh sound. So we want to say thirty. Thirty. Yeah. Exactly. I know there's an I. Um, yeah. So we don't want to say 30 or anything like that, just 30. Okay, 30. 30. Another word that will rhyme with that would be like dirty. Like the opposite of clean. Oh, I wrote it in the wrong chat. Okay. Yeah, it's dirty. Oh, sorry. Again, it's we spelled... Dirt. Yeah, exactly. Again, it's dirty. spelled with an I, but dirt, dirty, dirt. 30. What about dirt. a bird, a birdie? Same thing, same sound. Dirt. And dirty clothes. Dirty clothes. Yeah, sure. Needs to wash. Yes. Okay. Good. Thank you. Um. So we had thirty. Where else were we? Okay. The teachers were tough. 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 And what is the meaning of that? Like difficult. Difficult. The teachers were tough on him, um, which means they were strict with him. Hard. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Their you teachers know, tough were guy in, in hockey. Mm -hmm. tough, tough guy is uh, not angry, but uh, difficult to struggle with. Yeah, he struggled in school, right? Because the teachers were, were tough on him, right? Means they were. Um, Demanding. Demanding, yeah, strict. Okay, they didn't let him, you know, get away with with much. Right. Okay. Um, a teacher made him wear a sign that read. In this this case, it's red. Because it's past. Past tense. Right. Past tense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's like. Exactly. The way you read it is this, but the sign that read it's like passive voice. Okay. Um, good. After graduating from the eighth grade, Caesar stopped going to school. Okay. So, who was that again? Can you please read? Um, can you please read this? Uh, you know this part right here. One more time. Me. Yeah. Same person. Okay. The teachers were thought on him. One Tough. time when tough. Tough, like think T, here, I'm going to write it. Think T-U-F-F, -F, tough. Tough, okay. Perfect. Okay, good. All right. mm -hmm. The teachers were tough on him. Mm -hmm. One time when he didn't speak English, a teacher made him wear a sign that read. Good, 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 good. Thank you. Any words on here we don't understand? No. Okay, can you please say this one one more time? Uh, 35. You got it. Okay, thank you. Great. You're off the thank hook you. now. <laughs> okay, next person, please. Uh, so, sorry. Uh, uh -huh. uh, teacher made him wear a sign that beat. 
or that read? read it, 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 it is a first sentence, read, read yeah. or read. Read? Uh -huh. Read. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. So you'll say, you'll, you'll use this, a sign that read blah, blah, like this is what the sign, this is what was on the sign. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can use this phrase, like a sign that read, you can say, oh, I was driving down the street and I saw a sign that read open for business. So I think that store is open now. Mm -hmm. Okay, like a sign that said or a sign that read, both are okay. It's good. We are we are a sign means where? we are a sign mm -hmm. means uh, teacher add something on that road. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You got it exactly. Okay. Right. So they were tough on him, right? <laughs> okay. Um, this was remember remember when he was born right this was uh, a long, this was a while ago <laughs> this doesn't happen this is not modern day California okay mm -hmm. yes. this does not happen all right just to be clear okay uh, next person please who's next who is next who just read Ezekiel just read, right? Okay, Oleg. Oleg, are you there? So, so okay. Me. okay, okay. Uh, poor treatment. Mm -hmm. The working conditions uh, at the fields of Caesar and his family were horrible. The farmers seldom treated them like people. They had to work long hours with no breaks. There weren't any bathrooms for them, and they didn't have clean water to drink. Anyone who complained was fired. Okay, good. Um, <clears throat> this is really good, Oleg. You have good pronunciation, so I'm going to be a little strict. So, um, can you say this word again, please? Horrible. 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 Imagine, yeah, imagine that this I is like uh, like uh sound. Horrible. Horrible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, horrible. 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 Good. Do you hear the difference? Uh, between I and uh, yes. Right. Between horrible yes. and horrible. Horrible. Yeah, okay. I it remember. Makes, yeah, it makes a, it's, it's small, but it makes a really big difference in uh, your pronunciation. Okay. Yes, uh, okay, okay. Good. And then can you please say this word? Have. Have. It's have. a very like soft, soft V sound. Have. Instead of half. Have. have. Exactly. Have. Exactly. Have. Do you hear the difference? Yeah, yeah, okay. Perfect. I remember you, this. You got it. Can you um, repeat? Can you read that last part then? Uh, they didn't have clean water to drink. Anyone who complained was fired. Perfect. Thank you. Good job. Any questions here? What about what does what seldom mean? Them. Aha. Yeah. Seldom, rarely. 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 Yes. Rarely. Is that who asked the question? Is that clear? Not really. Not really. Um, okay, so not often. Okay. Hardly ever. Okay, very few times. Okay. The opposite of like usually. Okay, that's good. Yeah. The fathers or I'm sorry, the farmers seldom treated them like people. So what did they? How did they treat them then? What do you mean? Like how did they treat them? Like animals. Okay, exactly. Maybe like animals. Good. Okay, so seldom means hardly ever or almost never, rarely. Good question. Any other words in here? No. Okay. Uh, next person, please. Uh, Latino civil rights. Mm -hmm. When Cesar was 19, 
he joined the Navy, but he left after two years and returned home to marry his sweetheart, Ellen Fabela, in 1948. He worked in the fields for the next few years until he got a job at the Community Service Organization, CSO. At the CSO, Cesar worked for the civil rights of Latinos. He worked for the CSO for 10 years, helping registered voters and work for equal rights. Good. Excellent job. Who's reading right now? I, I can't see. Who's reading? Raphael? Hi. Yes. Um, good job, Raphael. Uh, can, you, can you say this word, please? Can you see this? Uh, not yet. Oh. Um, okay. Yeah. We're here. 17, 18, and then the next number? 19. 19. Okay. So the emphasis, 19. 19. Yes. When Caesar was 19. 19. Yes. Do you hear the difference? Instead of 19, 19. The stress is back here. 19. Okay. Can you say it one more time? 19. You got it. You got it. Thank you. Any questions here? Any questions? No? No. No? Okay, good. All right. Uh, next person, please. I think it's Raul. Raul. Yeah. Go ahead. Starting my know. Cesar read the Lord and was influenced by a number of other leaders, including Mohammed Gandhi and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He wanted to help the migrant field workers of California and he thought he could do it in a peaceful manner. Good. Thank you. This one, remember, is migrant. Migrant. Migrant, yeah. Starting a what? Union. Union, good, okay. Cesar, what? Red. Red, good. He read a lot and was influenced by a number of other leaders. Good, thank you. Okay, please continue. Okay. In 1962, Cesar quit his job in the CSO to start a union of migrant, migrant farm workers. He formed the National Farm Workers Association. Good. There were only a, a members at first, and they were mostly family members. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh oh, there's an echo. Okay. Um, so this one, again, like dirty, like bird, like 30. How do we say this one? First. 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 For, like imagine it's a U. Uh, first. First. Perfect. Do you hear that? First. Yeah. Good. Can you say this part again? Please? There were only a few members at first. At first. Okay, good. First. First. Mm-hmm. Good. There were only a few members? At first. First, good. At first means like in the beginning. Right? Okay. Any questions here? Okay. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Next person, please. Okay. <clears throat> Hold on, let me see. Where are we? Where are Rolling we? In the union. Oh, we're at Tarsicio. Okay, good. Yeah. Thank you. Go ahead. Caesar went back to working in the field where he could recruit workers to his union. It was a tough sell. People didn't believe that the union could work. They had tried it before. They were scared they would lose their jobs or even get beat up for joining. Caesar continued to work at it. Slowly but surely the union started to get more members. Caesar called the movement for better working conditions, La Cosa, or the cause. Good. 
Okay. Thank you. Good job, Tarsicio. Thank you. Uh, any words in here that we don't know? No. What does recruit mean? Recruit. To recruit. Mean? Hire. To hire. Hire. To, to hire? No. Yes. Oh, yes, to hire people. Yeah, that's part of it. It's like two things, like to hire them, but also to look for and find and then hire. Like, um, for example, um, coaches of, you know, basketball teams and football teams, they go to universities to recruit university players for, for their teams, right? They look for them, they find them, they choose them, and then they hire them, like that. Does it work for Army? Yeah, you can recruit for the army. You go look for people, you find them, you choose them, you hire them. Yeah. It's like the act of looking for someone and, and finding someone specific. It's like recruit or recruit is a different word. Recruit, like to get to get someone to to work with you. Uh teach hmm? uh it was a tough step. He said uh, earlier that uh, tough is uh, is angry. Or... It was a tough sell. This one right here. Yes, tough sell. Yeah. So uh, early you said uh, that uh, tough is uh, angry. Was like, like difficult. Uh, oh, difficult. Oh, okay. So what is the sentence? That's a good question. Um, I think that was Raouf, right? Yes. So what, it, what does this sentence mean then? It was a tough sell. So that is difficult of sell. Right, it was, so in other words, using different words, what does this mean? Was it easy for him to find people and convince them? Oh, no, no. It's hard. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, good. Um, what does it mean to get beat up? To, to be the uh -huh. punished. Punished. Punished in what way? Pa punished. Punished. Pe pe punished. Pun yeah, punished. Kind yeah, but in a very specific way. Mm -hmm. They are spanked. Uh, to get beat up is like if something like when someone hits you maybe multiple times in the face and kicks you. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, they thought they could get beat up. Um, all right. Good, 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 good. Any questions here? Any other questions? Okay, we move on. What? Oh, what? La cosa. The cause. Oh, this is in Spanish. Uh, because because he spoke Spanish, so that's what he called it, but then it means the cause. It's really different, right? Spanish and English right here, so different. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay. Um, okay, next person. Do we go Me? around again? Me? Oh. Yuki, yeah, I think yes, so. Yes. Grape workers march. One of the Caesar's first major actions was to, was to strike against grape farmers. A strike is when workers refuse to work. The strike started in De Delano, California. Caesar and six, six, 67 workers decided to march to Sacramento. Sacramento. Sacramento, mm -hmm. the state capital. It it took them several weeks to march the 340 miles. On the on the way, their their people joined them. The crowd grew larger and larger until until thousands of workers arrived in Sacramento to protest. In the end, the grape growers agreed to many of workers' conditions 
and sign the co contract with, with the union. Hey, cool. Uh, Yuki, excellent yes. job. Thank you. Excellent job. You did good. Okay, so, um, well, I mean, in short, what happened here? Um, <laughs> huh? I only concentrate on the meaning, so I, I, I don't understand the meaning. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That's okay. That happens. Okay, who who is who is paying attention here? What happened? The revolution. Revolution. I mean. The what? The, it was a. Uh, they made a, a strike. Uh huh. A strike. Uh huh. Right. And what's a strike? When workers go and on then strike. They, they decide to, to workers. Yes, right. when workers decide like to teacher. stop working. <laughs> yeah, like it's a meeting when when workers get up and and um, speak out their right. Um, yeah, it just means if you go on strike, you don't work. You just, you ah, decide okay. <laughs> with, uh, okay. you know, you decide usually with a group of people that you're not going to work. Yes, yes. Right? Yes. Um, right. And what did they do? Did they go somewhere? Go to the market. And organize the march. Yeah. What is what is a march? Uh, when a lot of people work with someone. Exactly. Yeah. Good. 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 They walked for 340 miles. I know that's crazy, yeah. right? Yeah. And what happened on the way? Along the way. Many people joined them. Yes. Okay. So it was really big. Okay. Uh, the the crowd grew. Yes, the crowd grew, right? The number of people in the crowd got bigger. Exactly. Exactly. Good. There were a, group, I guess. A, a lot of times to walk 340 miles. A lot of times what? To, to walk 340 miles. Mm, yeah, exactly. Okay. I think there's only one who uh, hears this echo. Huh? There is an echo. Yeah, there is an echo. I don't know where it's coming from. Someone. I don't know. Um, Which is the correct pronunciation? Echo or echo? Echo. 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 Good question. I don't know where it's coming from. You sometimes you can from your teacher. From mine? Yeah, because when someone calls, uh, there is in your little screen uh, a win and. Bar. Bar. Yeah, a green bar. Uh oh. Okay. It is coming from Raul. Ra Ra <laughs> Who knows? Close your, your microphone. Okay. I, I have my microphone. Okay. Um. Who Who is next? Well, I think we're almost we're almost finished with reading, but who is next? We go around, maybe. <laughs> oh, we're going back around? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think, who is that? Who's over there? That's uh, Samad. Me? Yeah. Mm hmm Okay. Continued work. Cesar and the union continue to work for the cause of the worker. Over the next several decades, the union would grow and continue to fight for the rights and working conditions of the migrant farmers. Good. Of the migrant farmer. farmer. Yeah, migrant farmer. Mm-hmm. Good. Thank you. And then this word? Decades. Decades. Okay. Decades. Got it. You got it. All right. Yep. So can you read that last part again, please? Over the next several decades, the union would grow and continue to fight for the rights and working of the migrant farmer. Excellent. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Thank you and 
the who um Rauf, I believe, is next to you. Go ahead. Okay. In order to bring attention to his cause, Caesar fasted. This is one you don't eat. One time he fasted for 36 days. Many celebrities also fasted with him. Okay, thank you. Good. So, what happened here? To bring attention to, what does that even mean? To bring attention to. To bring to. attention? Yes, in other words? To make people aware of him. This yeah. situation. You got it. Okay, good. He fasted, right? Does everyone know what fasted is? To fast? Yeah. yeah. Four days without eating or drinking. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you. Um, any words here? No? We all know? Okay, good. Thank you. And uh, who is it? Um, Aichu, you're next, right? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Caesar died in his sleep on April 33, 1993. Over... 1,500 people attend his funeral service. Okay, good, good. Caesar died in his sleep on April, we say April 23rd. When we read a date like this, April 23rd. Okay, 23rd. Mm-hmm. 1993. Three. Mm -hmm. Three. 1993. Three, good. Like, put your tongue between your teeth. Ninety-three. Three. Yeah. Three. Like, uh, like it's a, it's a soft sound, okay? So we want to say three. 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 Yeah. It should not sound like tree. Like a tree? Yeah. Look at my mouth. Tree. Tree. Or three. We start like this. Three. I chew. Yeah. Can you go like this and then say three? I can't because of my French accent. You can. You can. It just requires practice. Three. 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 Yes. Just think about it. It's it's just where you put your like where however you move your mouth. Start with your tongue in your, um, like between your teeth. Yeah. Three, and then go from there. Three. Yeah. Yes. Three. <laughs> Three. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. It should not sound like tree. We have tree. Tree. Mm -hmm. Like a tree grows. Mm -hmm. Tree. Okay. Three. You see the difference? Yeah. yeah. So April 23rd, 1993. Can you say that one more time? Okay. April. The April 23. Oh. Third. April 23rd, 1993. Okay, good. Good. That's definitely better. Okay, so work on that. Okay. Work on that. Um, I know it's a, it's difficult to. It's like you're riding a bicycle the same way for 25 years, and then you have to learn to ride it a different way. That's what it's like. So exactly. it's okay. I know, but but just keep in mind if if you care, you know, if you want to, just keep it in your mind and practice every day. It will get better. I promise. Thank you. Um. Good. Thank you, though. Thank you. Where are we? Go back. Okay. And then this one over 50,000 people. This is 50,000. Aichu, can you see? Yes. Over 15,000 people. Yeah, 50. 50,000. 50, yes. Okay. Good. Now, can you just do the whole thing one more time, please? I promise, just one more time. <laughs> we try. Caesar died in his sleep on April 33rd. Uh-huh. 
over 50,000 uh, 50, people attend his funeral service. Good, good. Attended. Attended, yeah. Good. You, good job. Good job, Aichu. Um, thank you. Who's next? Can they read these two, please? Okay. Interesting facts about Cesar Chavez. His middle names, na name was Estrada. Mm -hmm. Cesar was a vegetarian. Okay, good. Next person, please. Caesar was a vegetarian. And then? Uh, after moving to California, his family lived in a poor burial town called Sal Si Puedes, which means escape if you can. <laughs> Who wants to move there? <laughs> okay. Um, by the way, this is not an English word. Okay, this is not in English. It, this is the English word. This is Spanish. Okay, same with this. So if it doesn't look like English, it's because it's not. <laughs> but barri barrio in Spanish is not the same than town. Barrio in like, Spanish is neighborhood. Right. Um, that's and town is that's what they. City. Yeah, some a town can be a city if but if a city is like really if a city is really big and they have, you know, other names for smaller neighborhoods, but they're also neighborhoods that are big enough to have its own name, like a small town. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it can get confused, but exactly, that's the point. Yes, town right. here is pueblo in Spanish. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good. Um, all right. The, who can read the next one? Who's next? I'm trying to keep it even, although I feel like it won't be. Who's the next person? Uh, he and his wife, Ellen, had eight children. Good. In English, we say Helen. Helen. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Next person, please. Cesar turned down a good job from President Kennedy to be a leader in the Peace Corps in order to keep working on his union. Good. Good. Um, in order, this should have two right here. T-O. In order to keep working on, that's a typo. Okay. This word is core. We just say core. Peace core. Corps. Yeah, forget about that. Oh, we just core. say core. Exactly. Okay, it's a common mistake. Even native speakers do it. Peace core, marine core, all right. Um, okay. Good. Thank you. Next person, please. His motto was "Si se puede," meaning "Yes, it can be done." Good. His motto. 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 What does it mean? Motto. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Um. Anyone care to try? Anyone know? Um, it's it's a principle. It's like something you you believe in. Or good. Yeah. Or it's like. The principle that you believe in, it's your attitude, it's like, it's what your t-shirt would say if you would wear that t-shirt every day, you know? Like, your attitude, your belief. It's like motivation or something like that. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Can so you, that was... Uh-huh. I have, I have a question about the, the, the word, the core, peace core. Uh-huh. Sometimes I hear it pronounced corpse. Yes, they are uh, pronouncing it incorrectly. But, uh, but so is, is, is it incorrect? Because I don't know if it's British, if British people who do that. Or, but sometimes I, I hear it a lot of times pronounced like corpse, his corpse. Um, yeah, it's true. A lot of people do that, but it's incorrect. Mm -hmm. They should be okay. saying core. It's a common mistake. A lot of people don't know. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. You'll hear it incorrectly, but it's core. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You. Mm hmm No problem. Okay. Um, and so do we all understand what motto is? Yes. Like his motto? It's his main belief. It's what he believes in. And what does he believe? I got it. What, what does he believe? That you can do it. Right, that anything's possible, right? Yes. Good. And the last person, please. Yes. He was a 
he was awarded the pre Presidential Medal of Freedom after his death. 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 Good. Death. Death. Yeah. Good. How nice. When he died, he got a medal. That's really nice. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Good. Any questions here? No. What did you guys think about this? Uh, what did you think about this guy? This story, his little uh, biography. He, he's a he's a good good guy. He has he has a great he has a great sense of uh, uh, contribute con, great sense of contributing to other pe other people. Mm -hmm. He he has he is kind hearted, and he know he know he experienced many. He over overcome he overcame overcame he overcame many difficulties. So he know he understand other people's feeling. Mm -hmm. Good. I think he's a good person. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Um, exactly. Uh, thank you, Yuki. That was nice. Anyone else? What did you guys think? It's Does a anyone common have, story anyone? for the yeah. immigrant people. It was. Uh, he. It's a good story for the migrant people, the migrant workers. Uh, 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 well, yes, but also it's common the the way uh, they are quit. Uh, illegal immigrants. I'm sorry. What did, you, that, say? what did you say? I mean the the way that they they he was treated is a is common for the illegal immigrants. Oh, the way he was treated is yes. similar. Oh, okay. Um, sure, sure. Thank you. Anyone else? Does anyone have any any questions or any any comments? Anything they'd like to share? I want to say a word, uh, maybe uh, synonymical synonymical meaning. He's uh, an altruistic man. Altruistic. That's a great word. Altruistic. Yeah. Altruistic. Altruistic. I'm gonna type it in yeah. the other chat too. Um, is that Dennis that just snuck in here? I didn't even see that. Dennis, hi, I'm sorry I missed you. Uh, yes, yes, hello, Candy. Hi, how are you today? Um, fine. Good, how good. I'm sorry I didn't see you come into class. How long have you been in class? <laughs> A couple of minutes. Okay. You caught us just in time to have our closing statements and say goodbye to each other. I always just in time. Always just in time. Okay, good. Um, okay, so are you guys good? No further questions or thoughts that you would like to share? Okay. All right. Well, you guys, really good job today. Really good job. Thank You're you so much. Teacher. Thank you. Um, right, thank you. Good class teacher. You guys rocked it, as I like to say. <laughs> so um, I think I'm going to have some more advanced level classes coming up in uh, in an hour or two hours. Two. Two hours. <laughs> thank you. I don't know what's going on in my life. You guys can keep, uh, keep it straight for me. Uh, so I hope to see you guys there. It will be a little bit more advanced level, uh, some more, some free speaking. Um, but please, your, your homework, not really, well, whatever. Yes, your job as eager English learners is to take what you learn in, in your classes and try to apply it in everyday life. Right? So if I had to stop you to pronounce a word correctly, then think about all the words that sound like that and, and keep it here in your head. Right? And it will get better. Or if it's a difficult pronunciation, literally sit there in front of the mirror and practice that sound. Promise. You are not crazy. That is 
a normal thing to do, I think. <laughs> so um, work on whatever it was that I had to stop you on. Um, work on that, and uh, you will see improvement in your pronunciation. But good job, you guys. I'm, Thank you, I'm happy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'll see you all later. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.